Okay, so for beginning high jumpers or high jumpers that may be uh, particularly afraid to clear bars and you're trying to get them some spatial awareness, some bar awareness, um, one thing we like to do, is, and it works really well for kids who've spent their whole life just jumping off of two feet. Um, so what, what, I, what I like to do sometimes, and, and when I change it up with this back over or that back over, um, we do a jog in two footed back over. So what Colin's going to demonstrate is just a regular jog in two footed back over. We don't want to start, we don't want to take any, we want to take anywhere from three to six steps, no more than that. So we don't want to take a lot of steps coming in. So we, we keep the speed fairly low and then we perform the drill. Okay, so another way to perform the jog in two, step, two footed back over is to slap your hips. And this is, this is good, especially to figure out with beginning jumpers, where do you put your hands? Well, we wanna get our shoulders to be able to drop, but we can actually slap our hips. I have done it before where I've said slap your thighs, and then we end up with breaking at the waist. So if you slap your hips, you're gonna be able to drop those shoulders in at the right height. So this is another way to perform the drill. Good. And then we're going to have, also have Autumn demonstrate the drill. And you can even make this a competition, which is fun, and have kids see how high they can go on this drill. And you can have a lot of fun with this. Good. Okay, so for this next drill, these are simple backovers. I've just taken two about uh, 10 centimeter boxes, add them together. So we're looking at about eight to 10 inches uh, elevated off the ground for these backovers. I don't like to get crazy high when we do this. Now, one thing you're gonna notice is I don't put our back directly, um, directly, I don't square up our back to the bar when we do this drill. I like to have our athletes kind of see the rotation as they're coming over the bar. So I line them up just like if you're a right-footed jumper, we're going to be faced this direction. If we're a left-footed jumper, we're going to be faced this direction, almost at a 45 degree. Uh, just so we can really think about always the rotation over the bar, which is going to be very important as we discuss jumping. Okay, so Autumn's going to perform one here. 